What's up guys? In this video, I should go over the steps on uh, how to build a retaining wall on a, on a slope or a, a hillside. As you can see, this customer's backyard was pretty steep. The wall we're going to build is going to be a reinforced wall. And this will make their upper part of their backyard more level so it's more usable. I hope you enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You got a trench dug. Sub base compacted. Ran into some roots. Had to cut them out. And there was also a big slab. You guys probably saw. I'll, I'll include that in the video. It was like a 5x5 five five slab that we had to dig out too. It's coming along. So we just got our third lift in. He's running a plate compactor on it now. And that's our that's our final lift. Before we start putting retaining wall blocks down, we probably will have to fill in some, some little low spots, dips here and there. Uh, but it's basically, we'll be ready for block after this. We're gonna be burying um, close to two rows of block. As you can see this, this yard's on a pretty, pretty good slope. And when you build a wall on a slope like this, your uh, bottom of your block is supposed to line up with the benchmark. And the benchmark is about seven feet out from your cut. So basically the bottom of our block is gonna line up about here. So you know you have all that land mass that's gonna prevent the bottom of the wall from sliding out. You wouldn't want to just bury four inches of wall because then you just have that little lip of soil to retain the wall, which, which would lead the wall failure if you do that. Um, this spot down here, this is our lowest spot. But believe it or not, that, that's, still, that's still about eight inches. So they'll have one full row buried down here. And then this area, we're gonna build up. We're gonna add some more soil, we're gonna compact it. And then I'm probably gonna put some, uh, some rip rock on there, uh, compact that into the soil to help with some erosion. And this wall is also gonna have a geo grid reinforcement. Um, we're gonna put two layers in. It's only a three foot high wall. Um, usually you don't need it for that small of a wall, but with this being a hillside like this, uh, I, I build them that way, so I know it's gonna last. I'll end up, after we get our first two rows in, I'll end up cutting back this, this grass a little bit. And uh, we're only using three foot geo grid. A, a foot of it's basically under the wall or sandwiched in between the blocks. And then you got about two foot back. Not more to come. Right here, I'm getting the blocks laid out. You can see I'm leveling them front to back, side to side, and making sure they're level with the block that sits right next to it. Sometimes it takes some tapping with the hammer to get it get it right. The first course the block is in. We're getting the uh, behind the wall and front of the wall and the cavities all filled with the modified. You can see Josh down there, he's compacting the modified behind the wall and he's using a shale bar to compact the stone in the cavities and in front of the wall. We went with a modified base and we're putting modified in this first row because where the placement of the drainage pipe is gonna go. What we're gonna end up doing is the drainage pipe is gonna go behind the second row, which is on top of here. And then from here up is all gonna be three quarter clean stone. And then we'll just end up digging out through the front of the trench somewhere and it'll discharge down the hillside.
So we got our second row of block in. We just added our drainage pipe. That's a four inch perforated pipe. Uh, we have it discharging in, in two places through the face of the wall. You see here, we'll end up burying that and maybe I'll put a pop up or something over there. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do at the discharge, but it's gonna go out in front of the wall and down the hill. And we got another discharge right down here. You see right there, same deal. Um, you're supposed to discharge every 50 feet. These are about, I would say 40, 45 feet apart, something like that. And we're gonna start filling in with our three quarter clean stone up to the top, top of this course, and then add our first layer of geogrid. our third row of block we're getting the cavities filled and behind the wall with our three-quarter stone you can see our layer of geo grid went underneath this course there'll be a we'll add a second layer of grid um, on top of the next row of blocks this this wall is going to be six rows total we're putting two layers in see here we got our filter fabric laid out and we're getting our dirt put down on top of it this will keep the soil separated from the drainage zone and prevent the dirt from washing down into the stone and potentially clogging the drainage behind the wall here I'm cutting a small groove down the center of the top of the blocks so I can run my wiring for the low voltage lighting.
we got all of our caps on. They're not glued yet because we still have to put our lighting in. Uh, but all the cuts are done. Most of them went in pretty good. There's a couple of them that have a little bit of, uh, I don't know, like a burr, a concrete burr on the bottom of it that we'll have to grind down to get them perfectly flat. But we'll, we're going to deal with that after the lights go in. Right now, we're getting ready to dig out our base for the paver patio. It's going to be, the outline here is going to go along here. It's going to curve and end up with the deck over there. And then on this side, it's going to go from here around and then meet up with the deck up there or um, well, the bottom of the deck. We're going to dig this area out. We're actually going to do a little step down. So you step down onto the patio since there's such a big grade change. Um, we're going to build a small wall with one step. It's going to come from up there and about halfway down 